I definitely think people can sell hair, nails, nails. Now, what about nails? Uh, I, mean, I think because like they do people like, get horny. If you sell your nail clippings, I mean, like you could like a Yoshikagi, like like he he had his, his jar of nail clippings. So I feel like people would want to chew on those. They would be like num num num, delicious delicious crunch. Oh well, yeah, people love serial killers nowadays. So mm -hmm. Like that. Would you sell your blood? I don't. I think that probably. No, you would pass out. Well, depends how much, but like. Oh, you mean me personally? Hell yeah. Mm. But I think that would probably fall into some fucking legal shit. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. I actually considered selling one of my fucking kidneys. What? You only have, like, two, though. So, yeah. like, you wouldn't even make good money. That's I the... know. I was stupid. Mm. Where, like, where were you looking to sell it? Like, fucking ear hole. Hold on. God damn it. Give it back so I can listen to TikToks while I talk. No, oh, got it. Okay. Alright, so everybody can hear and see this? Just yeah, they can. I think they can. I want to hear it from them too. Oh, can everyone hear it? You shouldn't sell your sperm because you get low prices. Yeah. Especially you're not six foot tall. I know you get more money the taller you are. And also, you have to have a bachelor's because they want they want people who are educated to give their sperm. So you would get less um, money. Isn't that kind of fucked up? Yep. You get in your sperm. Your sperm has to be educated. Like, damn. I took the, this route last time. Let's take, uh... Everyone says that they can hear and see just fine. They can? Yeah, they can. They, okay. Everything's good. Not too loud, not too soft. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah, you guys should look up, uh, like, what it takes to donate sperm because they don't want uneducated nut. You have to be educated, and the higher educated you are, the more better it is to donate your sperm. Have you guys seen that documentary on Netflix where that one doctor, he like, he, uh, he was inseminating, uh, people, he was like an inseminating doctor, but he was just using his own sperm to inseminate people, and people were like, bro, that's fucked up, why are you using your own sperm to inseminate people? Like, was he like... He was using his own samples, like, he was like, nothing in the, in the cup and then inseminating people. What a racket. Yeah. Right. But he, he, he's like one of the best insemination doctors in like the country. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> yeah, his nut, his nut game was strong as hell. God. Jeez, I wonder why. <laughs> and like, and like people confronted him. He's like, stop telling people the truth. And like, and like he didn't really care that he like made hundreds of thousands of like kids. But like, it's, it's fucked up. And he had like this rare stomach condition. So like all these kids have this rare stomach condition. And oh, that's how oh, so they saw that they, there was like similar fucking shit. Mm. Right, bitch, get in. Hi. Yeah, it's it's a good documentary. You gotta see it. It's fucked up. And this guy, he's just stone cold. He's like, yeah, I did it, but stop talking about it. <laughs> oh yeah, and people, are, uh, yeah, just don't. He said. That uh, that pointed out that he didn't even get charged for it, like, cause it should be illegal. Like, they didn't consent to using his nut; they wanted other people's nut, and he just used his nasty old nut on them. Even if he is an insemination doctor, don't you think that's fucked up? Yeah. Like this is like I, this is why I'm scared. Like if I was a woman and I, well, if I was a woman, if I, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I, like your whole identity is in question. Now. I know. I, I, I guess I always do. Like if I was, <laughs> but I mean, like if I wanted to get pregnant and I had to get inseminated, if I'd be. I were a boy. <laughs> But I would be too scared to trust anyone. Like I, I, I would have to get the donator. Stop it! I would have to make the donation person be in the same room with me and jerk in the cup, and I have to watch him jerk in the cup and see the doctor not leave the room and take the take the nut out of my sight. Oh, you gotta watch him. You gotta make him watch. Wait, yeah. no. Wait, you have him. No, I like the doctor and the and the nutter has to be in the same room with me and they can't leave that room. I gotta see the nut in the cup. The cup. Yeah, I have to see the nut fresh from the dick in the cup and the doctor can't leave the room and has to put the nut in me. If if I was a uh, if I was uh wanted to get artificially inseminated. That's the villagers. Mm. That's the good novel. 
But there's also, like, I forgot, there was another documentary about, like, uh, about, I don't know what that documentary is, like, how, like, uh, doctors are pretty terrible to their patients. But I don't know, I haven't, I've been seeing a lot of slander and rightful slander about doctors and nurses, like how nurses are just pretty mean to their, uh, uh, pretty mean to their, uh, people that they're taking care of. Like, have you seen the slander on nurses? Well, yeah, I know nurses have been put through hell and back in the past year or two. Mm. The slander? No, what's that? Like how a lot of mean girls in high school become nurses. Maybe? That's, 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 well, that, that sucks for them. Uh, I mean, the people, that sounds like I don't care why. Why would they become nurses? Oh, because you have power over someone. Oh, I see. Yeah, elder abuse is just, that's wild that exists. <laughs> I'd probably be really. I mean, like, if you're like, because I don't know, some old people are mean, and they def- maybe maybe this says something about me. But if you're a mean old person, and I, I had to take care of you, you're definitely gonna get roughed up. <laughs> like Larry the Mad Black Boy. Yeah, I love that movie. But you can't be mean to me, and you need service. Like, I mean, I definitely can understand. Like, some old people, like they're suffering, so you have to under- you have to take care of them like they're a child. But like, if you're still being racist to me, like. Like, if you're racist to me, I, I don't know how I could take care of you and not be mad at you. Oh, fuck! Because, like, if you're an old white person and you're saying the N-word to me, like, I'm definitely going to jostle your wheelchair a little bit harder. Yeah, you're going to get a slap. Yeah. You're going to get some laxatives in your prunes. Well, there are already shit in their No pants. more Fox News for you. <laughs> no more Fox News. Um, I'm, I'm shutting off your Fox News forever. Yeah, if an old person was saying slurs to me and I have to take care of them, uh uh-uh. uh. 12 gauge. Gets the job done. But I feel like, okay, like, I know we're supposed to take care of old people like they're children because they are children in a, on an old person's body, but, like, how come you can't, you can't train old people like you can children? Like, I mean, they don't like to change, you know what I mean? What? Like, you can't train old, like, you can train old people like children. Old dog, no tricks. I guess so, but, like, how come it's harder to stop old people from being racist? They're stuck in their ways. But there has to be a way to change it. <laughs> oh, wait, people, wait. No, no, the chat has not frozen this. The D, I always want to say this, though. What, what's up? No, the, the chat hasn't froze. Wait, it has you, you gotta have that window up. I know it isn't free. Oh wait, oh, wait hold on. How, which one is the chat? Hold on, I got you. I got you. Hold on. Oh wait. Oh I shit. What have I done? Dab, I got you. Okay. Oh no. What am I doing, is Leon? Okay. Oh. Yeah. I need to show you more on how this works. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know that's how they were taught, but they're old and now they're in a new time, so they should learn not to be racist, or you know, give up their job so they don't run the country anymore. <laughs> You mean the Chaos Emeralds? What? Uh, you have to look at the screen. Oh, uh, I'm not looking. It was extremely funny. Mm. There's this very relevant meme that's like six years old. Mm. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to get my headphones. I can get yeah. What are you doing? I'm getting another set of headphones. Okay. So I can talk and look at TikTok at the same time. Oh, I was going to say you can wear mine. What? My headphones, you can wear mine. Mm. Oh, I found a secret room in this that I never knew existed until I played it. I found a lot of secret shit in this uh, this game in this version because Mm. they're so up close. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh, I didn't know you get here. How come the ratio on on the on the video is is it's like an old fashioned TV? I know it's it's weird. It's just like you know TV back when I was a kid. Uh, VHS. It's like the best of it. Are you ready for the recession? What? Are you ready for the recession? Well, I mean, right now I'm doing okay. We we got multiple means of income. I mean, I got my day job, Patreon, this new captioning game, mm-hmm. your, your remote job, uh, money from Twitch, not to mention. So, yeah, we're not living it high, but with all the little sources that we got, uh, hopefully we'll be okay. But enough about, you know, fuck you, I got mine. I worry about other people. But, you know, cynically... Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, fucking fuck this government. I want to see it collapse, but I know it's not going to be all... Do you think it's ever going to collapse? Because I feel like the government is good at making, like, it, at, at, like, making it, like, just, like, just, just below yeah. everyone dying. Yeah, no, that's how it is. Well, I've been seeing there's but been more, a lot more... more something's going to give soon. Because everybody's like, like I can't afford fucking Ashley's shop. 
everybody's just like, I can barely afford rent with like two jobs. Mm. And I'm living in a cheaper part of the country. But like, what do you think it's gonna take before oh. it starts really collapsing? Probably food and gas keep, that keep going up like they have. But I mean, we gas... were at H E B the other day. And we both were just fucking depressed at the prices. We were all like, "What the fuck? Eight dollars for this? Are you kidding me?" But yeah, but like, gas prices has already gone crazy They're high. Over, it's over four fifty where I am. That's crazy. It was like four sixty something when I was driving home the other day. What are you gonna do when it hits five dollars? I'm gonna start talking to my boss. Maybe it's like, hey, listen, uh, can't you know this is really starting to affect me here. Oh man, D says it's five seventeen where she is. Huh? What are the gas prices where you guys are? But D says it's five fifty, it's five seventeen. Yeah, I'm in Texas, so I mean we're still like comparatively. I know California's like eight. But like, how do people pay? Like, I mean, how do you even afford to go to work if you're just working a minimum job? Like well, at that point, I would just be like, I quit. I, I can't afford it. Yeah, I know. Somebody said like at this point, and once it reaches that, it's like I can't even. I can't even do that. Mm. No, it was like, it was like, uh, what was it that, it was like $8, it was like some crazy, it was Hot Pockets, Hot Pockets were $8. Oh, yeah, where well, we were looking at like, it was like those corn dogs or something. Mm. But I remember $8 for Hot Pockets, it was like a pack somebody, of hot dogs. Somebody pockets. showed like a picture of I Am Legend, like the gas prices in a post-apocalyptic movie, and it was like, we, we passed the point. Hot, I remember when I was a kid, Hot Pocket was the cheap food. I used to eat a lot of those. It was, it was gross. But I still think the market is okay because uh, if, if you wanted to get a cheese stuffed crust pizza, like the, what is that thing, DiGior if you wanted to get a DiGiorno's pizza, they're still on sale for $5, so I think the economy is going to be fine. That's how I base my economy, is how, how, how are the prices on, on uh, DiGiorno pizza. So I've been seeing the egg prices have been rising up a little too much for me. Yeah, I've seen it. Eggs are going a little bit too high. I don't know about all that. Oh god, I'm amazed I did this score. Also, like, I've been seeing, uh, what do you call it, Doritos? Those have been going up really expensive. Yeah, I was like, how long did you said they were? I was like, what the fuck? I've been seeing, like, they were like $7. I don't know if that was a fluke or something, but $7 for Doritos. I don't know if that might have been a fluke. Or maybe, uh, maybe I just can't see nothing. Yeah. Rose says that she's been getting her gas for 483 to 507 where she is. Oh god, that's really scary. Yeah, Dee points out, like, uh, you know the economy's gonna be fucked when Arizona drinks are more than a dollar. What else is, are you, the, well, the Dollar Tree, I don't know, like, I know the Dollar Tree is a dollar fifty, uh, twenty-five. It's a dollar twenty-five tree. Yeah, but at... I feel like the quality of the Dollar Tree has been going up a bit. What? Also, also I have no I have seen on TikTok that some Dollar Trees have been getting like self checkout. Really? Now I think that's better because I always see those poor uh, those poor Dollar Tree workers and like you know they're always trying to. I feel like. The self checkout is better. I always see like dumb, like you know, dumb right wing people be like, "Well, checkmate, uh, lefties." Like this is what happens with stuff. It's like it's literally a capitalism. You fucking pseudo intellectual. Yeah, but it's like checkmate guys. Uh, there's self checkout, but like self checkout is the bomb. Like, it's it, like this is what happens when you race the wage. Are oh, you mean the ones that they have right now? Yeah, but like I think that's better. Like being a cashier sucks. And having to deal with old people like the cashier yeah. sucks sucks ass. I rather a robot take over a cashier job, and I and me a human has to be a packer like that. I think that's better because a robot can't pack, can't like you know shelve, uh, shelf stores as much as they say they can. Like what's that one store that has that weird robot that just looks at people? Yeah, it just it just tells people to clean. Yeah, that that robot's a piece of shit. Like. It's like bro what is it like? What is it, a koi bird? Oh. It has the Pepe face on it. Yeah, yeah, Dollar Tree sucks. I mean, like, if you're a worker at the Dollar Tree, I know it sucks hell, but, like, damn, Dollar Tree, it really, really does be saving me sometimes. So, I mean, like, I can't stop shopping at the Dollar Tree. I can't afford anything else. I'm well, so sorry. I know, I'm so sorry. I used to be like, quest, look at where I am, God, no, I know. Mm. But like, like I would never want to work another cashier job if I can help it. I'd rather a robot take over a cashier job. I've been just wanting to play. I've been wanting to play just like I do this. This feels so good in here. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Rose says most of all of our customers at, at Walgreen are all old people that are, it's an actual nightmare. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, Walgreens, I would definitely think the clientele tell would suck hell because, like, it's probably people who want to, like, steal condoms or, well, not steal condoms, but I mean, like, awkward young people who are getting condoms and, like, a bitchy old people getting their medicine. Yeah, last time I went to Walgreens, it was because, like, I, I had to, like, walk from the place I was staying at, and, like, it was, it was just for a phone charger, but the, the, the lady working there was really nice. Mm. Yeah. But I, uh, also, like, I would be scared to work at a Walgreens or a CV, like, any drugstore, because I'd be scared of getting robbed, especially if they're the 24-hour ones. Bro, what is the most shoplifted place? Or what is the most shoplifted item at, at a drugstore? I, I would think it'd be condoms. Or like, you know, condoms or like, uh, what would be, like condoms or razor blades? Yeah, babies definitely need food. Yeah, they be eating drugs. Wrong reason, so a lot of people like Wait, what's the wrong reasons of stealing baby food? People that don't eat it will actually just sell them for... Oh, selling. I thought well, like, I thought it, you meant no, like no, adults well, would eat it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like for something, but is, uh, yeah, also mothers just genuinely need it. It's very sad. Excuse me. Oh, she's, she's saying depending on the location, uh, Rogaine, the hair loss treatment. If you start losing your hair, would you try Rogaine? Would you try Rogaine? I mean, you're not balding, but... I've never even heard of this until now. What is it? It's a hair loss, like, juice. Like, you, you put the hair loss juice on. You, uh, you rub it on your hair loss spots. No, if I ever started going bald, I'd just be bald. Just, really? But wouldn't you be scared that people would think you're a skinhead? Yeah. I'd probably wear a lot of hats or hoodies. Then you'd look like you have cancer. I'd rather... I would genuinely prefer to be thought of as a cancer than a white supreme. Mm. Mm. You can get a hit a tattoo that looks like hair. What? You can get a tattoo that looks like hair. Would you get like a tattoo that made it look like you had hair? Oh, you were say a tattoo that says I have cancer. No. Like, like, like the <laughs> no, that's awful. Like, like together. I mean, yeah, that's one way. But I mean, like, no, no, you could have like your hairline tattooed. No, I mean like 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 the like the Gemini sign. What is the astrological <laughs> sign? The cancer, the crab. Yeah. Cancer. But like, I mean, like, cause like you're not bald. Do you, I mean, do you fear going bald? No. Why not? I mean, other I just than... shave it off. I don't. I, I I mean, yeah, I'd be a little bumped out because of my fucking hair. Mm. A lot of people knew me for my hair. Hmm. In IRL. How do you think being bald would like affect your like uh, score? Uh, probably would a little because a lot of people don't make my hair. Would you ever try a wig? No. You would never try like a lace front or anything. What's that? It, it looks like your scalp. It's like a wig that looks like you know. It looks like scalp. It, it's a mesh wig. So people couldn't tell you had a wig on. <laughs> Wait, so like a, like a, like a food service hairnet? No, not a food service hairnet. See, I was, trying, I was having to type and think it here at the same time. What, can you explain that to me? Okay, like a lace, like there's wigs, and then there's wigs that are like, not like, wigs where you can see where the hair is sewn in. But a lace front is where, like, the hair is individually knotted on very thin lace, so it looks like when you put it on your head, it looks like the hair is growing out your scalp because the lace is so thin and like in a skin no, color. I, just, I wouldn't want to. I just, I just get it off. I don't like having to feign appearances. Really? No. In fact, something I was genuinely considering shaving it off earlier this year because I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. We could shave it. Why don't we try shaving it next no, time? No, I, I like how I'd like to still do stuff. Okay. I thought about it, but I'm like, eh. No, I mean, like, next time I cut your hair, why don't we try, I, like, shaving I, the sides? Because I really needed, maybe? Because I, I really needed a fucking haircut. Mm -hmm. It got really bad, and I was just like, fuck it. I think next time we should just try shaving the sides. Not like the whole head, not like a mohawk. Just like, like a, like a K-pop shaving the sides kind of cut. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, this part's way too easy to be hard. You know what, Ro, I like seeing the the TikTok videos of where, like, when they're putting the hair on, like, a doll and, like, they use the hair gun and, like, they, they, they just put the hair on a doll's head with the hair gun and it's like, blah, 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 and I know you can't do that on a human, but wouldn't that be cool if you could do it on a human? But I think that's how, like, how, wait, watch out! <laughs> Never mind, you already hit it. You, you hit, uh, like, a lamp. But I think that's how men, when they go to, like, Turkey to get their hair transplants, you could, like, take your hair pl Yeah, like, hair plugs. Like, I, I was just... thinking of hair plugs, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the BBL like for plug. men. What? That's the BBL for men. Like, the, like you know, like, BBLs? Like, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, hair plugs are the BBLs for men. I guess next to the other thing that men could could do to get like a BBL effect for them is like uh what what, what else could men improve? Mm hmm. I guess like good clothes. Like good clothes definitely make a man look better. Having hair. Having a good wallet. That's also like that make a man wallet. ten times, huh? Yeah. Watch. No, I meant like a wallet full of money and like credit cards so I can have. Got no car, you got no job, you got no. I forgot how that goes. Well, I, you don't need a, you don't need a good penis or meat if you're a man. Like, I mean, like you could always get like uh, penis injections. Have you guys seen penis injections? Okay, see, there's penile implant, and then you're trying to tell me which you're right that the penile section is above the, the brain. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, there are there are different like you can get like a penis like uh like there's like a lot of penis technology if you want like if your penis broke and you you can get like a, a machine that makes your penis longer like but it's like a robocop so like you can get it to be longer and upper and, and like you can like get like you know Botox in your penis to make it look fatter and speedier. But like when you get well, hard, not. it doesn't like uh, it doesn't make it longer. It just makes your your flat. Yeah, it makes it look a little plump. Yeah, you, if you wanna like if you got a skinny dick. So it makes makes your dick wide. Yeah, cause I guess some guys have skinny penis. Yeah, they do. Like you don't wanna. Not that I know. You don't want to go that's to... that's, like, homophobic. <laughs> that was such a stupid joke. Anyway, go on. I mean, like, if you had to... Like, I, I know men go to the gym and they get naked in the in the gym, right? So, like, you want to show your skinny, like, pencil dick to the gym, would you? Uh, I mean, if it's, like, a dick print, I guess I can't help it. And see you, Bree. But, like, uh... Think about Aqua Teen Hunger Force joke where he's like, how about you help me suck it? Mm. I mean, I mean, wait, that came out wrong. That implies that I need to suck. <laughs> I'm more than capable of sucking my own stuff. Listen, what I'm on is dangerous. I love that. That's one of my favorite bits. But if you had to have a dick print and show it off, like, you could just get fake meat or, like, take a take a, take a a sock and put it in there. Like, who would be able to tell the difference between a real meat and a fake meat? Are you just, wait, wait, a sock and put it in there, wait. Like if you had like if you had a pencil dick and you wanted to have a dick print to show off to the ladies or guys, like couldn't you just ball up a fake sock and put it in there and then make it look like you had like a big big hanging ball? No, it just looked like I have a tumor. Oh, <laughs> I, that's what a penis look. Well, I guess uh, you People know. People be like, dude, have you gone to the doctor? You could. I think you got something. I mean, you could get soft things. Like, I know they make soft uh, penis molds. So that way, you know, for, for trans people. So you could have that, that schmeaty dick print. Yeah. Schmeaty. All right, boss time. Big cheese time. Oh, we got these fucking QR. There was one. Wait, shit. There was one. Actually. But do guys care about their dick print, or is that like a, a sign of beauty to men? Like, oh man, look at that guy's dick print. That's like magnificent. Do you guys like, is it like how girls, when they look at each other's boobs, or do you guys like look at each other's dick prints and be like, man, that guy's got a good dick print? Fuck, this looks kind of, it's easy, but it's kind of scary seeing them up close like this. Wait, answer the question. Wait, what, sorry? Like, do guys, do guys look at other guys' dick prints and be like, that's a good schmeat, or like, no, you guys don't do that. Uh, wouldn't know because I when I had to go to the locker rooms and stuff I mm. changed in the stall. Mm. 
You were shy? Yeah. Yeah. It was weird to me. Mm. That I is remember weird. one time I went to a swim meet, there was one guy who was like, hey, do you want to, or what was it? He, I think, there was a dude who was like, when I was like in eighth grade, it was like another student in the locker room and he like flirted with me, but it was just, it was just harassment. Mm. And then he tried to tell me he was Jesse von Rinskate. He was what? He's like, that's like the number one player. Oh. Like the highest, like, he's always like top of <laughs> Fuck! Fucked it up. Oh, that actually barely hurt me. Oh. <laughs> How come Leon goes into like a weird uh, chest? Like he goes into a weird like backpack space when you open your backpack. Oh, fuck! Wait, not the egg! I need my pixie stick. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's better. Oh, oh fuck! Be careful. Be Ugh. careful, you're gonna hit something. There we go. Wait, did I already? No, I meant be careful in real life. No, I mean, like, I already got his first form, okay. That was like one shell and a grenade. But... Oh, yeah, it's, it's 11 30 if you wanted to know uh, BD dubs. Says uh, that this game would be terrifying if it had a Dead Space HUD uh, uh, where. Dead Space VR would be amazing. Oh, what's a HUD? A HUD. Well, what, what does that mean? Well, Dead Space, that was what was cool about it, is that it didn't really have a HUD. It was just like, I mean, it did for like the menu, but like for your life and shit, it was that spine. You know, like you had, your suit had this like glowing spine that was your health bar. It was so fucking ingenious. So you can't pause the game? Like. You. You can if no, you can only you can't pause the game like in this game to manage your inventory. Oh. When you did this, the game would still be going. There was a pause screen, mm -hmm. but it was like to just like save, load, or quit. If you were doing this, no, the the game would still be playing. It was oh. So good, it was so good. Uh, I'm still like bitter about that Dead Space remake because of, you know how they treated the former employees. Because I like, that director and I like linked to interview of him the other day of like how it was to work on it he, he said like recently that like it's just he said it was just weird to see them just doing this now without him which i completely get he's probably has a lot stronger words i'd just be like man fuck you people fuck you people so i mean it's not like the re4 where i was like eh, you know about them remaking it because now i'm like all right yeah they'll do good with it i'm still like man fuck you with that i'm interested of course but Am I gonna fucking buy it? No. Do you have a phone charger? Uh, I've got the one in my bedroom. Oh wait, never mind. You have a phone oh, charger. Oh yeah, yeah. You mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. You put it there because <laughs> it has that cute thing. It has the bunny ears. I just got. I just sat on my desk one day. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Where? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Ashley. Are you okay, Leon? Yeah. Let me see how cool. What other time? I don't know if I have any, uh... I got the Twitch app, so I can see. Mm. Yeah, I can see you guys! That's actually not our highest shoplifted item. I've been trying to tell you, but then you're like, you're playing the game like a weirdo. I know. Well, well Rohan, what's the, what's your most... Uh, what's she the... said it was Rogaine, the hair juice. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, okay, I missed that part. I was t you were talking! Mm, sorry. Gumball movie coming out. 
It's coming out? Yeah, it's supposed to come out. Who's this? I hope it's coming out this year. I guess I would have said so. Anyway, D, Rohan, I haven't really heard about how your days have been going today. How, how have your days been going today? Now we just gotta wait for them to tell us. Can I get it? Yeah, I actually did. Oh yeah, did you just skip? Yeah, they don't make you stand on this the whole time. I, I never really noticed that. Ooh. 120, 200, 120,000, 200 petas. Now, do I have any? I have like one. What is it? I have like this. Is that done? Yeah. Yeah, I can sell that. Okay. Wait, Roll and D responded, so you should read it. Okay. What? Disconnected from the. Oh, fucking reconnect! <laughs> oh, okay, the app sucks. Hold on. Oh, uh, Twitch app sucks! Hold on. Because <laughs> if it gets to the, the fucking, like, thing now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it doesn't, it's just gonna load anything. Okay, what does she say? I'm sorry. Okay, what so so Rose says that uh, she went out to the marina with her friend and D says good. And she was watching One Piece with her dad. Aw. Uh, I, I, that's cool. I can never imagine watching anime with my family. Welcome. Also, like, three out of the boat. Good things on oh, yeah, yeah, sale. Oh, yeah, yeah. Marina, Marina, like, oh, uh, like Splatoon. Yeah, oh, yeah I didn't Splat want to say it. Splatoon 3, uh, the, they have that new, uh, fuzzy, uh, uh, uh the new fuzzy character, where, oh, like, yeah. the squid, oh, where it has hair on it. Fuzzy octolings. Those look weird, but I guess I'll warm up to them. It definitely shows up like they can push some more graphics. Like the, 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 the design is cute. Yeah, it looks next gen. And, it, and it's, uh, supposed to be, like, a... It's like, it's based off, like, this fuzzy squid. Yeah. Yeah, there's always, like, something that, like, that's based on what's in the game. So it's really neat. D says that uh, her dad introduced her to anime. That's crazy. I was always, like, I still am. I just, like, I just, not that I'm, like, ashamed of my hobby, but it just comes to my parents. I'm just always shy about them. And Ro says that she left a pic in the chat. Um. I mean, not as much now. But I know they're not into it, so I'm just, I always try to keep it. What do you think would be a good old person uh, anime? Hmm. Everyone recommend a good old person anime that old people would like. Cause there, there has to be anime for old people. Boy. No, like it's something that they would like. Hold on. I like how like I can actually. What's, like, what is gonna, anime for boomers? I'm kneeling down, like who fucking actually. Cowboy Bebop, maybe? Or yeah. like a full metal alchemist? Damn. But, like, I mean, like, true boomer stuff that would yeah. speak to the boomer experience. Wait. Actually, no. Fucking follow me. Follow me. Because this part can fuck me up if I'm not careful. Uh, yeah, put up Space to the right of me was a safe spot and I died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ashley! Ashley, please! Mate, you're too loud in my ears. Okay, get the shotgun. Oh no, better truck coming, better duck and cover. God. Okay, there's nobody in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, 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 u
die uh, can canonically. Have I done this? Because I said, yeah, I have. I just reload the save because I don't want to make it easy. I don't want it to make it easier for me. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sell the Twitch out. <sighs> now what will I do? There's got to be a better way to beat that. That is such a thing you think they'd be on. A stream chat. Because I can view it like if I'm using remote or air, air link or whatever for like my desktop, but this is like in, this is native to the headset, so that's why I can. Dev, are you there? I'm huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, I was looking at TikTok. No, you're fine. Yeah, okay, finally got to the village. Yeah, the perfect run! Hey, hold on. I'm gonna get some food. I'm not definitely not gonna push you when I get over there. Oh, wait, Lilla's here! Lilla's here! Call Lilla! Lilla's here! Oh my god! Say hi to her! Lilla, hello, Lilla! Hey. Lilla, Lilla, we've been. Uh, oh, oh you said uh, Coco Melon's here. I was like, what? <laughs> Lilla, we started our podcast. Yeah, we're just four episodes in. Actually, this isn't even part of it. This is just the. Yeah, this, this is, is the, the stream part. This is the part that's all about me and my wants. Oh. Yeah, the podcast is all my stuff. So what do you think? Do you like... That's, this is me. These are my hands. Mm. Actually, I actually have fingerless gloves. I, should, I was actually using them so I don't get the, the Quest controller. Oh, sweet. Oh, Lilla, also, we have a, a, a deal. Uh, this is a hot new deal. If if you want to... We have a deal. You pay $10 to get uh, 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 Adrian's headshot. Or, if you can get 10 people to watch the stream, we get to wax his feet. And hear me scream. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the part that Dad really likes. Yeah, so like, that, that's what we're trying. And if we can get 1,000 people, we both wax our heads. And if we get to 100, we wax his eyebrows. So like, if you guys can get some more, more viewers, I think that would definitely help. And it'll be very yeah. fun. Yeah. And if, if someone's crazy enough, if they want, they can keep the, the okay. wax with his hair. I mean, I don't know who would want that, but I bet someone would definitely want that. Uh, God. Well, give me the, give me the ripple. I think. I want to, yeah, I told, I talked about the Tokyo Ghoul. I want to donate to the Though, you know what, maybe it would be bad to give your body hair to people, like, sell it, because what if they were a witch and they were... I was gonna say they could clone me. Yeah, they could clone you or they could do witchcraft. Voodoo? Yeah, they could steal they, what 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 would you do if someone like, you know, used witchcraft on you? Fuck. I mean I guess you couldn't stop it, but I would cast a magic barrier. No be serious Oh wait, oh wait, Lila brought oh, up a oh, good you are? Yes, oh wait, Lila brought up a good part point that they could plant it at a crime scene. So you know what? Oh. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even think of that. I was like thinking oh, what's fuck, it? They could plant evidence. Mm-hmm. Shit. Would you, like, oh, what if you, like, because, like... If you, if, like, Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, if you, if you, like, if you were dog. selling your pee to, like, help people wow. pass their drug test. I don't think they check pee here to pass that, though. I know, but, like, if you sold your piss, your piss. Oh, my piss. I thought you said my pee here. No. I was like, I don't think that's what they take. But uh, you know, be here no. But they like if you if you wanted to get drug tested, they do. They can take the hair from any part of your body to drug test it. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, that's right. She crushes me. Pointed. It would just be like Gattaca. You know that movie? Gattaca. You, you ever seen that movie? It had like that guy. Um. Wait. It had that one guy, and it had that. It had that. It had a thing in no, that. No, no, don't, don't, don't you. And the dog died. Don't, no, don't you be like that. It was about this one guy, and he was trying to go into space, but he was, like, uh, quote-unquote, genetically, like, not ready. Oh, did we watch that? Uh, it, it had, he, he has, like, the dude that he pays to do shit for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, the dude that dies at the end. Yeah, because he sets his body on fire. Yeah, I know. We watched that. I, yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. We, I actually have seen that. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Wait, hold on. Uh, they're saying some good stuff. Okay. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta read. 
uh, just donate late, but if you donate your hair and the person who gets it happens to do a crime and leave strands, does that come back to you? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it could. I mean, it wouldn't be good. And let's see, Lola says, uh, there was one person on Reddit, I think, who told a story about how their parents caught them on weed, so their parents drug tested them every morning and used, and they used their dog's piss. What? Can you tell I, that's what I'm wondering. I, I would, I would think a drug test would be able to tell if, if you were using dog pee or human pee, wouldn't it? Like, I, I don't think the DNA pee in the pee would be the same. But I mean, I guess it could. It, Shit. I mean, if you were using a cheap drug test, like a dollar store drug test, I mean, could you tell the difference? I mean, yeah, I think it would be able to tell that. I think I could tell dogs. I could tell if you had the, the good shit. I know, but the, you know, there's the dollar store weed test. So like I mean if you if you piss test like if you use the dollar store piss test then I don't think it could tell. The dollar store piss test? Have you never seen the dollar store weed test? No, is that because when I've had to do drug tests you go to like a specific center. No, they sell they sell they sell the weed test at the dollar store. They like just bullshit? No, like like they have birth they have like the COVID birth tests? Like, No, they have like, you know, the pregnancy test at the dollar yeah. tree. They have the weed test at the Dollar Tree. Have you never seen them? This is me scratching my arm. Uh, no, because if I had weed period in Texas, I'd be subjected to slavery and torture. Well, you- the Amendment, look it up. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, 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 okay. What I know, have, but what but have I, I told you I'd be- I know, but like, no, why would they sell that? What? No, you could buy those. Like they still sell that? I think. Well, I know when I went in Georgia, they used to sell the weed test at the dollar store. I never really looked to see if they sold the weed test, but they sell oh, the pregnancy test. No. But I'd be scared to buy a pregnancy test in in Texas because then they could put you on a list. Oh, Ashley died, everybody. Oh, I gotta redo it. I don't want to count as a death. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you guys not supposed to buy the weed test at the dollar store? Like, how, like, are it's just you... just like you buy it off the counter from the dude in, like, behind the building. What do you mean? Like, you know, you can, you, you know, you gotta do that. No, they sold them. They were, like, right next to the pregnancy test. Oh. This was, like, an item you could legit, like, everyone, go to the dollar store and see if your dollar store sells the weed test. It sounds like a new TikTok challenge. <laughs> no. You see that? Dude, God, we gotta link that video of that guy who took like a 50 like MG nug or some shit. Oh, yeah. And he like saw God in like three seconds. Yeah. And he was just like... <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Lewis says, do they have the double lead pregnancy test stoner Don't. baby? You, ca you cannot use the double duck cock... What a fucking slurpee. Uh, do they sell the uh, ovulation test in Texas? Ah, I mean, I never saw one at a dollar store, but I bet you could buy an ovulation test. I gotta get the bounty hunters off my ass. It, I mean, I think you can buy an ovulation test pretty cheap. Pretty, I mean, ovulation tests are, you know, you can, you, you don't have to buy a specific ov ovulation test. You can just buy, like, the paper. No, no, we got it. You can just buy, <laughs> you can just buy, like, you know, those, those piss tests. You know, the, the piss test where you piss on the paper? Yeah. Well, you can just stick the paper up your uterus and, like, you know, we'll scrape your utes. And like you know, check your uterus to see like if it has the, the acidity or the basicness to you know uh, if you're ovulating. So that's a little tip if you ever want to test if you're ovulating. But I mean, it probably is uncomfortable, and you should probably get the ovulation test instead of using the piss paper test. But the piss paper test can be used for more than just piss. You can use those piss tester, those piss papers for other things. Like if you want to test your water. Piss paper? You know, like the paper that you pee on to see if your piss is yeah, acidic? Yeah, this, like this is like a pH test if you in chemistry. Yeah, the pH test. I guess you're not supposed to call them piss papers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know that changed. Yeah, but if you want to get, but those pH tests are really good. Like you could test your water to see if it's like you know very acidic and bad for you, or you test. Your oh, like you got that hard water, yeah, that yeah, diarrhea yeah. water, yeah, carbonated poop water. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
It's like, ah, my fucking knee. But like those H, those eight, those pH papers, you can test them and put them in your food. You can put them in your poop. You, know, you can put them anywhere. If it, if it's a surface that's a little wet, you can just rub it on there and test it. Okay, is this safe? Now there's no way to test your wiener. There needs to be more testing for wieners. Yeah, I mean the only way that men can test their weans is like, like you know by it. taking that long that long Q-tip and start you know <gasps> rolling up in there. Like oh you you saw you guys have you seen the boys? <gasps> oh hi hi do the new version yay! Uh, I mean I don't know if that's good or what you said you don't. You I know. thought he crawled in his butthole. No, he they show it they show him crawling right in the peppers. Yeah, he does it. He he, sell, he takes his body and sells him. Yeah. Like I, and then he sneezes and goes back to normal. He does literally what everybody was saying Ant Man should have done to Thanos. <laughs> except, except the penis part. Yeah. He do, he, 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 they were saying they should call Thanos, you know, great, you know, butt. Uh, big the juicy butt. Raisin butt, but yeah. I bet Thanos' butt is very not raisiny. It's very muscular. Well, yeah, muscular. I'm just great. Oh yeah, Lila. Like uh, next next stream we do, we're gonna do magic. We're gonna do real magic, and uh, Adrian has to take it serious. We're gonna do real magic. I got the items for the magic spell, except Wait. one item, and we're gonna cast magic. And uh, what else are we gonna do? We have some very good ideas. Very good. You're, you you guys are all gonna love it. Fuck. Where'd they go? Oh, they're still here. They're just playing VR, and like I turned off the camera because I'm sitting in the front seat. Wait, oh no, Ashley! And I don't want people to perceive me. No! Oh yeah, also... Yeah, also, Lila, we had a very good uh, bit on the uh, podcast where we talk about what Street Fighter character is the most sniffable. So, like, which one would you want to smell? You can give us your top ten list of which characters you'd want to sniff. We went through the entire roster of Street Fighter V. Yeah. Like, not just launch. I mean, like, championship all the way to Luke. Mm. Follow me. Follow me. Very important. Like, what is the sniff test on people? Because, I mean, like, if you're going to be next to someone, you want to know that they smell good. Shit, no, 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 no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, Chun, Chun Li, I think she got an A for me. What's up? Chun Li, she got an A on the sniff test for me, right? Like you said, you wanted to hug her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, yeah, she she probably smelled. Oh, uh, she would smell nice, but like you know, I gotta get to know her more yeah, to sniff her. Your strength is where you wanted to just bury your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to bury your face in Gil, mm -hmm. uh, Ryu, Cage, which is just evil, or Ryu. Who else? Uh, well, I'll have to. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Scary. No, I'm not playing girl go games again. Yeah, because that like actually gave me a spook. Everyone loved the girl go games while I was Everybody playing it. Everybody wants to go to the girl game. Yes. Yeah, but see, Rio is sweaty, but I feel like that'd be a good sweaty because he he just smelled really good. Like, you know how some people stink good? Yeah, it'd be oh, like that. Yeah, it was rated on like how interesting. Like in Macaulay, you want to bury it. Wait, which one? What was that? The one with the dreadlocks and then turns into a super saiyan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he probably stink good, that too. That was my main. Oh, no! Ashley, get in the house. I said, get in the house! Okay. Why are you cutting onions? <laughs> no, no. What? No, that's no. what Lilith says. Like, you really? know how some guys... Uh, you well, know which one it would be like cutting onions? Ryu? <laughs> yeah. Well, but yeah, he's like, no, he's like no man. He fucking, like, he just... Travels from city to city. You didn't tell me he was a nomad. That means he has to go lower on my list. Wait. I would think he's just sweaty. Like no, no, I mean he's a not a nomad. He's a well, yeah. He he just he he's a drifter. I didn't know he's gonna be smelly, stinky drifter. Yeah, no, he, he fucking just travels. I told you. So that. he would. I I must ignore it. Like so, he would be smelling like onions. Eh. <laughs> He's like he's like Jesus. He relies on like the kindness of people. I think to just. Oh uh, no. <laughs> like what? No, and like his ending to Street Fighter Three: New Generation. It's his ending is like he's on a countryside road and there's a dude in a car saying like like hey you still got another like ten miles to town I could fucking just give you a ride and he's like no, I'll walk. 
Oh, uh, so and you think his like, feet no, would no, 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 his no. feet would be really funky. Yeah, it's just like yeah, I'll be there by by dinner time. Don't don't his, you worry about his it. His feet would be like chewing on concrete. <laughs> I was like, did I leave Ashley there? <laughs> Can you? Ah, uh, that probably was good. <laughs> Ashley. Oh, Lilla says that uh, Blanca would smell like pure burnt uh, skunk. And yeah, I was gonna say yeah. You want Blanca? Yeah, he's a jungle man. I feel like, though, but he, he's green, so he would smell different. He would smell good. Like you. Do, you remember, do you remember that episode of the Jimmy Neutron where, like, mm -hmm. he could turn into the Hulk, but he smelled like, he smelled really good, though? Who? Jimmy. He, he had, like, everybody was, like, they had powers, but they didn't know what Jimmy was. He just was orange, mm -hmm. and he smelled really good, but then it turns out he turned into the Hulk, and it was really cringy. But, but I don't, I never watched Jimmy Neutron. It's okay. Uh, but, uh, I know you, you didn't want to smell a bison. Oh, also, Lila. Yeah, I think you want to smell Rashid, right? I think. No. Uh, wait, and Lila says that poison smells like the Bed Bath and Beyond perfume, Welcome. sweet pea perfume. Wait, which one's poison? Poison is Got the most hot pink Oh, oh. Sale, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, she's kind of mature, so yeah, she would smell good. Well, I did put her on the, she would smell good, but she wouldn't stink good. Like, you know, like, do you, you guys know what I mean when I mean, like, they stink good and they stink bad? Like, some people, they just stink good. Like, they, they smell good. Well, De Cammy is British, so I mean, she just yeah, not like British. Like, hey, oh, ah, oh Lila says ice. Cammy would smell like baby powder. Oh, that, so that would be. Stranger? You know what? She probably would smell like baby powder because mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta baby powder those thighs so they don't rub together, and probably grease because she has grease on the thighs. Yeah. Don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> this guy's just like I feel like fucking out free on. Well, I'm trying to say like, okay, like I, when I'm thinking they smell good, they smell good because they're like sweaty. Like, you know how some people sweat good and they smell <laughs> good and they don't smell like onions and they don't smell like they be cooking. Like some people, when they sweat, they smell like they're all, they smell like, they smell like a Jamaican, uh, a soup shop. Jamaican soup shop. <laughs> I mean like, or they smell like Taco Bell. Stranger? Like, I mean, some people, I mean like Taco Bell delicious. I remember Bell's one delicious. time when I was a teenager, my mom walked into my room and she said it smelled like hamburgers. <laughs> She was like trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was in high school. <laughs> Hamburger helper smelling <laughs> ass. <laughs> Oculus. Yeah, holy shit. No, I don't want it to... Be careful, you're gonna step on your glasses. Yeah, hold on. I'm just wiping off my shirt. Fuck. Okay. Uh, what are they saying? Uh, let's see. Uh, they're saying rip me, uh, Chef 4D, smelling ravioli. Ravioli. Raviolo. Uh, <laughs> it's taking a while, because, you know, there's, like, a bit oh, of shit. a... Yeah, I, like, I got, like, on the... It's not on the like the electronics. It's just the fucking uh, pad. Yeah. Don't forget your glasses. You need to see. Yeah, sure. You can't see in VR world. Yeah, we got that thing where it's like you you installed this. I was like, mm. there's like a glasses thing. Oh shit! Did anybody get hurt by that? Did it just fucking crash? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Oh. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Uh, are we good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought we got like I got like flashbang for a second. Looked like shit. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh yeah. So. Wait. Okay. All right. That'll be all, merchant. Come back anytime. Wait. I don't have it like in my ears all the way. What the headphones? There we go. That's better. Okay. Okay. Whoo. Okay. Where were we? You're talking about people smelling like. Oh yeah, people like. 
Some people, when they get smelly, they smell bad. Like, okay, um, and like some people, like I'm not saying who, Leon, but some people, like location? when they rain, they smell like wet dog or they smell like, like salty ham. Meaning, and like, you know, well, that's not a good smell. I don't want to smell salty ham. With the Los Must not get but bad. some people smell like onions idea, and Taco Leon. Bell. I need you to... What? Repeat, hun, again. I feel like when I sweat, I smell like onions. Just so I don't, I don't like to sweat because I think I smell gross. But I don't know. Maybe some people are into that. Maybe they are into that. Yes, they, uh, I can. Yes. They're weird. Don't be into onions. I mean, I guess I don't know. Maybe there, there needs to be people who are into onions. There's a Shrek joke in there. Oh, onions like a Shrek. Yeah, I see. When your girlfriend stink good, and it's okay because you think a Shrek and funny equals sex. It, what? Ew, don't say that out loud to people. That's just Gen Z people. Oh, I see what you're you saying. You think I'm just being gross, not let's be like, oh yeah. When she stank good. Mm. But that's what I mean. Like when I when I'm looking at the street fighters, I'm trying to think what like yeah, I'm trying to think who would stink good. Now you said uh White people oh yeah, and not white people. I mean not about not this time, Dad. But yeah, just some people, like, I don't know. But yeah, oh, wait. That reminds me. Wait, no, it doesn't. Wait, I can't be racist to white people. Wait, I don't know. I, I don't want to get the stream. <laughs> I think it's a little late for that, though. Oh, yeah. So, like, I know, like, a certain type of people, they don't really watch no! everything. Oh, and, like, you know, the certain type of people need to learn how to, like, you know... Use deodorant. Oh, you can smash fighting game players. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, no, we were talking because, like, you you said Sakura, you, you were, like, bottom tier. Yeah. And you were like, oh, what is she doing? I'm like, oh, she's, like, an arcade employee. And I'm like, oh, yeah, she probably smells like shit. Yeah. You mean around gamers? Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, never mind. Like, I was going to look up her wiki like everybody else and show her Google images. Also, we didn't find any porn. Yeah. I don't know how we managed to do that. Yeah, Google. No inflation. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, not even an inflation picture. Do I have no inflation, no pregnancy. No, that's not it. Nothing weird, but yeah, gamers they don't like to wash. I don't understand why. You said you were gonna go to some cons this summer. Are you worried about the stink, or just because everyone's wearing masks, you don't have to smell how about, stinky they are anymore? Just worried about people not wearing masks. Mm. Oh yeah, remember gamers. that one con where they said like you don't have to be vaccinated or wear a mask? Yeah, I was they... gonna go to this Comic Con in uh, Bell County, and then uh, I was really excited. I was gonna like, I think I was gonna like tweet about it, like you would see me. Mm. And then like, oh no, you don't have to. We're not gonna have like, you know, need guidance. No, but there was a recent con that everyone that they. Yeah, there was a thing like the voice actor played the the Birdman in <laughs> Zelda. It was coming out. Mm -hmm. And then they reinstated when it got enough attention, and it was like, huh, interesting when money was in question. Yeah, Oops. but but that con revoked and said now everyone has to wear a mask. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Being angry does help. Yep. That's not all the internet's good for. Mm. If it works, it works. Yeah. That sucks, but yes. No. No, the internet's not good for sex. Who's having sex on the internet? There's like a. I mean, do you really want me to answer that? No. Okay. I think more for art. Oh, you mean like porn We're in a art. golden age of that. Eh. Have you seen the stuff that it's, it's like, remember, like, okay, easy example, Overwatch. Yeah, but Overwatch isn't good, so. Uh, yeah, actually. I think the internet's really good for, like, you know, looking at pictures of cute cats. That too. I was watching World of Gumball earlier, and they did, like, a Skype reference. Skype? How old is Gumball? It started like 2010, 2011. Oh god. I was watching like a season five, and it's like it's like they lose internet, mm -hmm. and the, the jokes are all kind of like boomery, like they're good, but it's like, oh man, what would we do without the internet? We're all dependent on it. And there's like a bit where Darwin has like a window around him, and he's like, boop, 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 How long are you gonna play the video game? Uh, is it been an hour? Uh, it's like twelve. 
Okay, how about the next typewriter I get? Okay, how long could that take? Okay. How come you're not throwing up when you play VR? What's up? How come you're not throwing up when you play VR? I just don't have that motion sickness. Unless I'm like I'm a thing that's already moving. Because mm -hmm. like you showed me that like that carnival in VR chat. We we should go we should both go to VR yeah, and right. show people all the cool stuff in VR. Yeah, but like it but it can't be it can't be public. It has to be like private rooms because sometimes people are in VR are weird. But sometimes VR people are cool. Yeah, but like the Dungeons and Dragons one was like private rooms. Like private rooms are weird. But like the Dungeons and Dragons one was like private rooms. Like private rooms are weird. But like the Dungeons and Dragons one was like private rooms. Yeah, but I don't know, like, how come, like, I wish I it was... I do good stream sniping. I joined lobbies in Monster Hunter. Yeah, I wish it was easier to meet cool people in VR. Like, not children, but, like, the people yeah. my age. Because, like, there has to be more people my age in VR. Yeah, I know, because there's... God, so think about that, like, that, like, ten-year-old that sexually harassed me. Mm -hmm. He wore, like, the, he was, like, using this, like, short stack imp avatar and shit. There needs to be a better way, a better way to report people. Yeah. That's I mean, my only real issue. That's really bad. I'm like, you guys are really successful. You guys gotta fix that now. Mm. Uh, well, I, the, the, I get super motion sick, so I can't really play that. Play that. I can't play it that long, and so I always end up like getting so sick I have to like, like lay down and like play VR that way. Or like, I wish there was a way I could play VR on like a on like a treadmill, because I feel like that would take away most of my my motion sickness. Is like if I could be on a treadmill, treadmill while I'm on VR. Yeah, that you. I would love to have that. I wish I had more room in here. It looks like I have a lot of room, but it's really not. Like every time I swing my combat knife, I kind of see the borders show up. Not every time. And stop swinging your arms. Oh yeah, this don't this this weirdo kept following you in different worlds. Yeah, you like and what? like you were ignoring them and like. Well, I blocked it. You can block people, but I was like looking for a report thing, and you, you have to like it's super hard to. Yeah, I hate the. I you hate have to have like irrefutable proof and shit. It's like just fucking. I, I just hate the menu system that it's so hard. Like if you want to block someone right away, you gotta like look at them and point your hand at them like a like a weirdo. Like I'm blocking you now. I'm yeah. blocking you. Like. I just wanted to be like, I want to be laser. I'm like, I'm blocking you now. Bye. Yeah, look at the lens flare on you. It's just like, Mwah. yeah. Like really lasers shoot out. I love that. It's like, oh, the amount of shells. But like, I hate it that like people can tell when you're about to block them because you have to move your hand like 50 million ways to like get to the menu to block someone. Yeah. I remember this one guy got so mad at me in Overwatch. He just spammed me with like shit friend requests. For like a solid five minutes after a game, because mm. he was raging, I was just like, "You're getting mad at Overwatch." Just like, "Yeah, I'm getting mad at Overwatch," and I like the game was over, and then he just did that. I, I reported him, but I was just like, because I'm like, dude. So it meant like the whole time for like five minutes, he was just like on his fucking computer, just being like, fucking <laughs> like just like. Ugh. What if you What if you friended him and then blocked him? <laughs> That's what you should have done. To get me into like some chat where he can own me or something. You should have just friended him, then blocked him to, just to teach him a lesson. <laughs> But like, I wish, have you seen like the documentaries on YouTube about VR chat and like how some people are like using it to abuse people? Of course. I know there's been like cases of grooming and shit, so they really gotta fix that because they're already getting some really bad PR. Mm. And like there's like, there's like a really good documentary on YouTube. I gotta look it up so I can link it to you or hold on, let me look it up right now so I can tell you guys to watch it because it's really, really good. Like, hold on. No. Uh, v VR chat docu documentary. Oh, fuck, I'm shot, oh, they killed me? Leon! I can't leave on that. The Secret World of VR Chat by Brandon FM. That's a good documentary about VR Chat. He makes good uh, VR documentaries. But, like, they, they, like, he goes in depth about how, like, a lot of these VR people are just gross and, like, how, like, they have, like, Discord, like, chats where, like, they use the Discord to, like, get people into these secret clubs and then, like, you know, get them to do stuff it's so weird yeah, like how like the the cult of vr oh. like can easily just abuse people oh, and like people just hide behind different avatars and different accounts just to get away with it it's so fucked up and there's no way to like you know fix it yeah also, because I'm, vr uh, is just so loosey-goosey it needs to have more sh i hate to be like there needs to be more policing but somehow there needs to be a way to police like vr
And it's like VR doesn't understand what it wants to be like. Does it want to be an adult space or does it want to be like for children? Because if it's, if it's just for children, then keep it childish. But it seems like they are so ready to have it as a weird sex club. Like if you look on VR and like in open worlds, like you can see like oh cuddle places, like a sexy club club. You know what has a cool uh, community? What? Final Fantasy fourteen. Are you sure? You, you be tricking me sometimes. But... Bro, I'm sure there's like shit there too, but there are plenty of shit from I've seen. I mean, no, 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 because I mean, like, you're trying to trick me into playing oh, the yeah, Final like, Fantasy. You know <laughs> Final Fantasy 14, MMO that's playable for free up to the first expansion. Because, like, like, you tried to. Tr- I up mean, to like. Level 60. I'm going to try right and play Final Fantasy 14. I'm what? trying my hardest, but I just. I'm really trying. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to try my hardest. You're not trying, I'm dying. Yeah. Also, I'm done. I, I died and I got sent back really far because got I got sent back to hell. Yeah, I wasn't paying enough attention. I got yeah, I got killed by a flail. Okay, that's uh, that's that's the show for tonight, everybody. Mm-hmm. Thank you for stopping by, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I, thanks for I, coming, everyone. I really miss talking to you. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope I can uh, stream late uh, sometime because I miss talking to Pink too. Okay, all right. That's that's the game. That's the show. Okay, I gotta. Should I eat something? I want to get... Yeah, how do you turn this off? I don't know how to do this. Wait, uh, do you want me to hit the end button? I'll just yeah, just hit... hit the stop casting on OBS. Whoa, wait a second. It says, uh, stop. So hit the stop streaming? Yeah, but are you ready? Okay. Yeah, everyone. Okay, bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.